Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own workspace in Adobe Premiere Pro. So workspaces are these things at the top. You click on them, they change up all the panels to fit a particular working style. That's why they are all have names, like when you're doing cut, color or editing or effects, they all have their, their same names. However, you can create your own workspace pretty easily. So let's go ahead and do just that. First off, start with one that you know is close to what you kinda wanna get at. Graphics is gonna be that one for me. Let's say I wanted to make one for Adobe Masters, and I want to create it so that it's built around how I record the videos. So in that situation, our effect controls is going to be important. So I'm going to have effect controls up here, and we're going to keep it there. Our source we can keep up, but let's say we don't ever use Limetry Scope, so we turn that off. Don't really use this one. We can right-click and close that panel. So I have it on effect controls, and then just the source, so I can click on the source. Let's say that we want to make this bottom bar just a little bit longer. Media browser we never use, libraries we never use, info we don't use, effects we use quite often, so we're going to keep that here. Markers, we're going to close. And actually, let's say that we take the effects, and instead we take it and we drag it over here to the right. So now we have our effects, our project to the left, our effects to the right. And on the top here we have our essential graphics and our essential sound. Graphics is good when we make graphics layers, we can do the edit panel here. So we're looking pretty good on everything. And now we can, you know, of course, open up a past sequence and we can take a look at how things are looking throughout. And overall, this would seem like a pretty good workflow. Now, how do we make sure that this saves? Really easy, we go up to Window Workspaces, Save as New Workspace right here, and we can give it a name. We'll say Adobe Masters, and then we'll put Recording. Click OK. Now, once it's created, it's going to automatically go up in this top bar. If you want to switch to it quickly, that's a great place for it. However, if you don't, if you would like to, for example, have it over here, we can do that as well. But just for a second here, once this is fit, it doesn't matter what you do anymore. We can take this and we can you know, expand this over and drop this all the way down or bring this all the way up and drag this over here. Like You can just destroy this thing. And the great part is, all we have to do is reset to save layout and we come straight back to what we were at. So every time we start up Premiere Pro, we can be at our optimal editing for a certain task. Now, to edit all that stuff up there, we're gonna go up here to Workspaces, and we hit Edit Workspace, and you're gonna see we have Adobe Masters recording here. If, for example, we don't use libraries, we can go ahead and move that down by clicking on it and dragging it down to libraries. Let's say Assembly, I don't use. Learning, we don't use. Effects, not really. Audio, color, and editing, uh, not so much. So these four I do use. So if we drag these all the overflow menu and just these four, the top will clean up to what you use, and then the drop-down menu will have any of the extras in case you need to use them every once in a while. And you can create as many workspaces up here as you want. It's a very, very important part of Premiere Pro, and you should definitely try to create workspaces that work with your editing flow. Well, that's it on this tutorial. It's a really simple thing, but definitely learn it, move it around, get your premiere set up the way that you want. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to make a video every week right about now. If you want to continue your Premiere Pro learning, check out the course in the link below. It is a really highly rated course that I developed on how to learn Premiere by doing Premiere is a great thing to learn by actually creating effects, and you can master it through that. So check that course out. Thanks, everyone, and until next time, see ya.